hope you're having a great day. I know we have people logging in from different parts of the world. And if you feel low on energy at this point, or you're struggling with your disease, you're struggling with health problems, you're struggling with pain, you're struggling with physical health, emotional health, mental health, even spiritual health, there's something that we can do. Six easy steps. As I go through each of these six points today, you may find it's difficult because the human mind always wants to resist what we've not been doing. But when you do it, a little bit of effort, a little bit of sacrifice, I can guarantee you in seven days, you're gonna, be, you're, you're gonna feel better in many, many ways. How can I guarantee these things to you? Because we've done this. We've done this with so many patients across the world and that's why I am here today to speak to you with conviction that it can work. Now, maybe you won't be able to do all of these six points. At least maybe do three of them. If you can't do three, do four. If you can't do four, even do one. And then the next week, add one more. It may delay your journey a little bit, but you're still doing it rather than not doing it. So let's start off with these six points. Okay, all you need to do is listen to understand. Don't listen to resist. Don't listen to fight battles in your mind with your willpower, your ego, and your pride. It's very simple. Let's start from top down. Every one of these points will help you improve your physical health, your emotional and mental and spiritual health as well. If you're depleted on energy, it'll help you feel better. It'll help you to restore your energy, feel way, way better. All of us understand how it is to operate through life on low energy. It's a struggle. It doesn't have to be there because we have over 30 trillion cells in our human body and they're all little factories of energy. They're meant to produce energy, but we come in the way with poor lifestyle. So number one, all right, for a week, you, got, you don't have to start it today. You can start it tomorrow, you can start it next week, you can start it on the 1st of Jan, that doesn't matter. But you're left with a toolkit that you can start to implement. Number one, for a week, no junk food, no processed food. Real, whole food. You wanna do chocolate, let it be 80% and above. Good quality, organic, chemical-free chocolate. You can do it, you can get through this. Seven days of no junk, no processed, no ultra processed food. Number two, every one of these seven days, you will do the exercise that you love, whether it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour, whether it's lifting weights, whether it's yoga, whether it's swimming, whether it's walking, whether it's a combination, it's up to you. Seven days of light training. You can keep a rest day in between if you like. The third, your sleep cycles. You're gonna to try to get into bed anywhere between 9 and 10.30. All right, that's what you're gonna try and do. Between 9 and 10.30, you're gonna to try to set that bedtime and you're gonna to try to wake up before sunrise. You're gonna do this for seven days. The fourth point, home food. If you have the ability, try to eat only home food for seven days. Okay, get creative with simple recipes, one pot meals, whatever it is. You know, on our website, we have, we have thousands of free recipes that are really, really easy to access and make, even for the most busy people, people staying alone, people without help. It's possible if you put your mind to it. And when you realize it's possible, you now realize you have a new skill, that you can cook easy food at home, and you're in control of the ingredients and the quality. Number five, get off social media for seven days. I know this is gonna be difficult, but it's not impossible. You can be on WhatsApp, at the most, at the most, you can be on YouTube. Or even better, just be off social media completely and you can watch a movie, you can watch your favorite series, you don't wanna binge watch. That's what you can do. And the last point, 10 minutes of silence in the morning when you wake up and 10 minutes of silence before you sleep. In that silence, you can meditate, you can manifest, you can visualize, you can reflect, or you can just simply sit in silence. These six points, Try to make all of them work if you can't select five out of six or four out of six or three out of six or like I said, even one out of six because we know the concept of small wins works beautifully. So you can start off at one, then two, then three, four, five, six, depending on practicality, your job, what you do and all of that because I can promise you, if you put these six things together, your body is gonna change in so many incredible ways at a physical level, mental, spiritual and everything. I think the biggest one is social media. If you just get off social media for seven days, just for seven days, you're gonna realize, you're gonna realize there's such a beautiful life beyond. You're gonna be comparing yourself less consciously or subconsciously. You're gonna be less confused, 
less overload of content. I mean, there are so many, so many benefits of it. And all the other benefits are self-explanatory. This is all you need to do for six, for seven days. Give me a thumbs up if you think you can do it. And like I said, you may be out there struggling with a disease or something and nothing's working for you. Well, these are six brilliant points that can start to work for you. How do I know? Because we have thousands of patients and we've tried them on so many. And just sometimes we get a patient where nothing's working. The disease is severe. The medications are not working anymore. And all we do is bring them back to base level, which are these six points. While your mind is getting cleared of all of the clutter from social media, there's a huge impact on the physical body. And as you take care to balance the physical body. And remember, the power is with you. I'm not saying you've got to leave, leave this life after seven days. You can get back to everything after seven days. And I say this with conviction because most people don't get back to it. They may get back to a little bit of it, but they get back to it mindfully. Because during these seven days, there's self-realization of how incredible they feel when they do these little things. And it's really, really simple. You know, if you remove, what is the best way to break cravings of junk food? You stop eating junk for a while, your body stops craving it. It's as simple as that. You know, you stop scrolling down social media mindlessly after a while, your mind stops craving it. It's the dopamine that makes you want to go on and on on social media. And you've got to break that with a dopamine fast. So th try these six points and let me know how it works for you. Do your best. It may be difficult, but difficult doesn't mean impossible. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep. And remember, you care. It's all about you.